So Sherry, thank you for taking the boldness to be up here to share your amazing testimony. So let's just begin with what was your life like before you came here to Hungry Jen? Um, empty. I was lost. Um, I was just existing, um, pretending to be happy, but knowing that I was missing something. Mm -hmm. um, I was raised in a Christian home, um, bounced from church to church until middle school, um, but I never understood that I needed to have a relationship with Jesus. So um, after I turned 18, I moved away um, on my own. I found myself at 23, a single mom of two children, still lost. I had addiction issues. I had, um, I was searching for happiness in everything and never finding it. So here I am, 52. I have watched my son um, get married, have a family, and I noticed a change in him. And I just watched quietly, and he invited me to church one day. I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. That's but, okay. Um, That's okay, yes. I walked into the lobby of this church the very first time, and I was literally hit in the face with something I had never experienced before in my life. I was shaking. I was instantly emotional. I came in and I sat with my son and his wife and I sobbed through this very first time. And I still get emotional and I don't cry, you guys. I, have, I am just a single mom of two kids and I had to survive. I am not a crier. Well, I was not a crier, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I am a crier. <laughs> anyway, um, well, wow. Three years ago was the first time I walked into this church. It scared me what I felt here. I didn't understand it. I didn't know what it was because I have, I have not had that in my life. So I didn't come back because it was fearful. I was fear, afraid of what it was. And then his, Dwayne and his wife, of course, invited me back. After some time, I said, okay, I'll come back. I experienced the same feeling again. But that time, I was, something clicked in me. And I didn't come back, though. And I, I, I know now that it was the enemy fighting inside of me, telling me I didn't need what was here. Okay. And then about six months ago, I was going through some nightmares and some torments. I wasn't sleeping. I was completely consumed with worry about one of my children that's living a life of addiction right now. I was literally so focused on fear of what may happen to that child that I wasn't living. I was having nightmares of him dying him taking my older son with him because seeing my older son trying to save him. Um, I text Dwayne and I said, what time's church tomorrow? So I have to change my life. And he said, what time do you want to go? <laughs> we'll be there. You know, so I came to church. And then I came the next Sunday, and I came the next Sunday, and I've, I was literally tormented every Sunday morning I woke up. I was sick. I was throwing up. I came to church anyway. And as soon as I walked in this door, I stopped being sick. The, all that feeling went away. So, <laughs> and I'm like, 
Tell us where, so as you were coming here every single Sunday, uh, tell us how you were led um, to giving your life to Christ. Tell us uh, that situation and how it has dramatically changed after you gave your heart to God. Um, well, you guys have this thing called a prophetic word, everyone's, or, or encounter. And um, I heard it mentioned, and I said, Dwayne, I don't really know what that is, but I feel like I need to go. And he said, well, let's go sign up. <laughs> so we did, Dwayne, Stephanie, and I as together, all together did it. And um, I got a word from you. And she was telling me that she was seeing horses and a field of green grass. And she said, do you, do you know what this means? And I said, well, honestly... That's the last time I truly felt peace in my life. And they weren't my horses. They were a neighbor's horse. But that time in my life, I was a child, six years old. And that was the last time I truly knew what peace was. And I believe it, that that very moment, I became quite emotional. And um, I gave my life to Christ that day. Amen. It was, it was a really powerful moment just to explain where that peace that she was talking about was God is very detailed. He orchestrates every defined detail. And what was so beautiful was he was giving her this moment and memory of peace. And he was taking her back to where she was of peace because he's saying to her at that very moment, that day, is that I'm the Prince of Peace. Come back to that. And so that's where she gave her life immediately. As soon as we were done just, you know, ministering to her, she, uh, we just said Hey, are you ready? She said, yes, absolutely. I'm ready to give my life to Christ. So any avenue our church uses to minister, we're going to take it up and give people that opportunity to give their lives to Christ. Amen? Any app avenue. And so that was one of the things is that we're encouraging even the prophetic encounter that's happening in May is that to get signed up and where God can speak to you or to your family members and God can touch them, bring them back home to the place of peace. Amen? So, to continue on, tell us that very day, as soon as you gave your life to Christ, that very day, what happened after? I sleep every single night, six to eight hours, not waking up. I don't wake up tormented. I do, I do not, I am not worried. Literally, I know that God is going to do good no matter what happens. It's for He's working for good in every, all of our lives. So I don't worry. You know, I, I gave my son to God. I said, he's all yours. Come on. Do with him as you will. Yes. And I have peace. I, you know, I pray for my son too, but I know God's got him. Amen. He's got me. Yes. He's got me. Yes. You know, Amen. God's got him. And whatever happens is going to happen in God's glory, Come on. not mine. Yes. Not in his time, not mine. Yes. You know, as long as I remember that he's working a good work in me. Yes, come on. That's all that matters, yes. you know. And the more I get to know God, the more peace I have in my life. Amen. Yes. Amen. Come on, you guys. That's absolutely beautiful. And a reminder, she was just telling me, you know, where before she would see certain, you know, articles or newspapers that she would just get angry about it. But now, what is your, how do you encounter when you hear certain news about um, people getting into relationships? What was like your attitude? What was it like before? And how is it now? Uh, well, <laughs> it sounds kind of silly, but when people used to tell me they were engaged or they were going to get married, I would say, what is wrong with you? Are you crazy? You know, and I would get angry because I never had a good relationship. I've never had a good marriage. I've never had a healthy relationship. So I would, I would, that sounds crazy to me for someone to want to, to get in a relationship. You know, now when people tell me they're engaged, I'm excited for them. I'm happy for them because I believe that there is healthy relationships. Even though I haven't experienced one, I know if it's supposed to happen, God will put that there for me, Amen. you know, yes. but I'm okay with me today. 
so I don't have to be angry and think everybody's crazy because they want something that I've never had, yeah. you know. So, and I read articles in, about, you know, um, people doing evil things to other people. And I used to get angry and I used to cuss and say, what is wrong with those people? You know, now I cry and I pray. I cry and I pray. You know, though my, my heart is being softened in ways that I didn't know it could be. Amen. Amen. It's powerful. Amen. Amen. An intercessor right there. So I uh, wanted just uh, last words of encouragement, Sherry, for those that are watching on live stream or they're here and they want to give their life to Christ, but they're afraid or they're nervous too. What would be your word of advice for them? Don't be afraid. Let God come into your life and change you from the inside out. It's so worth it. If, it's so worth it. I have so much peace. I have so much comfort. I am changing every day. God is changing me. Come on. And I welcome all that change yeah. because it's so much better than anything I've ever experienced before in my life. Amen. Amen. So he's so good, you guys. So good. Amen. Thank you for watching this content. I know this was a blessing to you. We would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell on our channel so that each time we upload something, you can be notified. Don't forget to share this content with your friends and family and on social media. We're so thankful to you. Better is not good enough. The best is yet to come.